Hello guys and welcome back to another live Call of Duty Ghost video. We are playing on Gold Rush. So uh, it looks like we've joined in a little late here. Only just, we've only just joined in late. And we're going to use the Honey Badger. I've uh, swapped out loads of perks that I would normally have for perks that I think will tactically work. So Quick Reload was one of the perks. But I've got extended mags to sort of counteract that. Um, I've got blind eye as well so fingers crossed these uh, changes will actually make my gameplays better. I've taken off the red dot and added a per... I've taken off the red dot added the attachment which increases my damage. Uh, same kill streaks, same good old kill streaks but this uh, this change should work extremely well plus I'm about 19 lean kills no not lean kills long shot kills away from a gold honey badger um, it's a good way to actually get up levels if you are looking to try and get to 10th prestige almost as quickly as you can then I would highly wait I would highly recommend trying to get guns gold because the amount of experience you get is almost uh, 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 unreal it's it's crazy and he jump shot at us look at these guys going for a ride in the car oh watch out it's sparking they're gonna derail uh, they took him out completely let's just reload what we can when we can because uh, I'm basically I've always reloaded after every kill pretty much and Figured that there's plenty of times when that well, reloading when I do wouldn't be would be a really bad time to do it. For example, I have actually um, killed myself or got myself killed many times because I've reloaded at stupid times, like straight after a kill. So I figured that if I don't reload after every kill or get to a safe place and reload then I will potentially die less. So I'm trying out these new techniques to try and get better gameplays for you guys. So um, we're going to see if if all of this works, changing the perks work. You know, I'm not going to be seen by Oracle systems, UAV, sentry guns. And I'm going to use a silence some more, which will increase. See, if I reloaded then I could have died. Then I had to because I had no ammo. But I'm going to see if it's going to increase my stealthness around the map. And another biggest problem that I used to do was put my satcoms out as soon as I got them. This meaning that um, I would have no gun equipped for a specific amount of time. Causing me to either get shot or things like that. So I know a teammate's just spawned there so it's safe for me to put my satcom out. You know, it's all learning. Learning curves throughout Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, it's going to pretty much be exactly the same when it comes to uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Which I've pre-ordered, by the way. So, when that comes out, expect gameplay content on that. Because I've actually ordered the limited edition. Which means you get the um, different Atlas th um, exoskeleton suits. So it should all be really good fun. We're actually doing all right, you know. We we joined in like a couple of kills later, but we've got 10 and 1. So it does seem that this setup is actually doing us proud compared to before. But it, it's early stages yet. It's generally my first gameplay using this setup. No, we don't want to go down. We don't want to go down there. <clears throat> I believe they're going to be coming from around this area due to the fact the spawns have changed. Hey, Battlehind. To be honest, I didn't even realise how close we were to a Battlehind. This should help us out. Oh, I've reloaded after the kill, but... I can hear my uh, IMS going off there and I was trying to get away. Like the explosion, I hope it didn't kill me, so... We're just holding down this side of the map insanely. Uh, until that guy takes us out. Wow, he... 
Wow, what? We spawned so close to them. I thought, oh, well, they must have all died. The teammates must have killed them. So I went in sort of to hell with the consequences. And then that happened. But 16 and 3 on this team death match. 17 and 3. Getting some serious kills. Gold Rush is such an excellent map. It's, um, the, the fact you can go around in the minecarts, it's, it's just, it's insane. It's so cool, but everyone's going to be sort of using the minecarts to start off with, but then I think the uh, novelty will wear off soon, and people won't be using them as much because it is a high-risk, high-reward situation. I mean, if you can get kills, if you can run people over, you're going to do well. But on the other hand, uh, people are always trying to get in the cart at the moment, and I've noticed that you get killed quite easily in it. It's... Um, so it's up to you whether you go in it. I mean, if you can hold down your um, car area and around you when people are there, then I think you'll do really well in it. And also running people down is is good fun. We're trying to hold down this part of the map, but it looks like people aren't around here, so I may try and flank around here while I can. I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. We're going to run across the... That was lucky. We could have just been mowed down. Oh, someone just spawned there. That is unlucky for them. If I pick them off then, they that probably would have been a rage quit situation. Here we go. Almost used all of our extended mags on there, but it's lucky we had extended mags because I don't believe we would have got the kill. We're down to six bullets. I'm not sure how many additional um, bullets it will give you, but never mind. Let's try and get the, uh, the higher ground here. What? We tagged them so much. We tagged that person so many times. There was no warning of ballistic vests or anything like that. So I sort of wondered what was going on. Uh, no, that was poor accuracy on my behalf. 61 to 63. We're currently losing. But we can turn this gameplay around. We want to win. And we get a payback kill, which is always good. Wow, that person must have had their sights right up on that area. Just like I did, but they must have had a more powerful or more accurate weapon. But it's been a long time since I've actually used the Honey Badger. And to be honest, I have missed it. I have thought it's been lacking something. And it possibly could be this, this sort of loadout I'm using at the moment. Because I was quite set with my perks. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd use the same perks on all of my classes but now I think that I could use these perks because they have actually worked extremely well there's a guy running around the back here we can see if we can try and pick him off I saw him run around he can't be too far don't want to sprint around all the corners just in case I think that was the guy because I recognize his mask I know he's killed me before but no but guys we didn't win, but I got 23 kills, 7 deaths on the new Nemesis DLC map, Gold Rush. If you've enjoyed, why not give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll, My name is Viable Karma, and I'll see you guys on the next video.